knows that it's time to help our children. Texas lawmakers roll out the new effort to fix funding of public schools. Tweaking the way Texas pays for public education and spends your tax dollars. Today, top House leaders unveiled HB 21. They call it a first step to fix what many call a broken school finance system. KXAN education reporter Aaron Cargile is here to break it down. And Aaron, you've already heard feedback from local districts. I have, and you know, districts have only had about six and a half hours to dive into this. I want to give you a a basic look at what HB 21 would do. Increase the amount of money districts get for each student by about $200. Adding to that would be state transportation dollars, money school districts have not been able to access in the past. The bill also gives districts more money for each student with dyslexia. Because of this plan, districts like Austin ISD would get to keep more local tax dollars they would typically send back to the state. But here's the deal. All of this is only doable if the state pitches in $1.6 billion to cover what would no longer be coming in from other districts. Around the time students were heading home for the day, big news was coming out of the Capitol for Texas classrooms. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you all for being here today. The Republican chair of the House Public Education Committee, backed by some Democrats, announcing a plan he says will help students and taxpayers. It provides more resources for schools and it distributes those resources in a much smarter way. Austin ISD's chief financial officer applauds the committee for taking up the issue and calls it progress, but not enough. We expect to gain maybe about $10 million annually, although we're expected to send over half a billion dollars to the state under recaptures. While most districts across the state would get more money, about 5% would lose funding on the deal. It's going to be tough. This is, this is hard. I didn't ever suggest that this would be easy for us to do. The House Education Committee will start hammering out the bill Tuesday at a public hearing. I'm sure that people will not be afraid to tell us what they think tomorrow. I reached out to several, several other local districts to get some feedback. Those who got back with me say we need more time to research this bill. I also contacted Senator Larry Taylor's office. He is the chair of the Senate Education Committee. His office tells me they are still analyzing the impact. Shannon? Aaron, thanks. And almost every school district in our area will benefit from this new proposal. Here is a snapshot of the extra money each school district would get per student. You can see Round Rock ISD is slated to receive an additional $215 per student. Lake Travis ISD will get another $126, and San Marcos CISD will get an extra $52 a student. Austin area charter schools are also seeing big gains. The Austin Discovery School will receive an extra $220 per student. But we did find one school in our area negatively affected. The Catherine Ann Porter School in Wimberley will lose $211 per student under this new proposal. For a detailed look, click on this story at kxan.com.